Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually had a pretty, pretty intriguing news where we actually had Sony themselves actually go and leak out one of the brand new features that's supposed to be coming out for the PlayStation 5. And a lot of people are kind of speculating on this. It actually might be in ties of the brand new upcoming game, Horizon Forbidden West. So it's always intriguing again to go and see these nice old little leaks to see what's kind of to come when it comes to PlayStation 5 updates. Although this is not a crazy big one, there's a lot of kind of speculation and also tie-ins too as well when it comes to marketing and other various things. I think it's just a very, very intriguing topic to go and talk about. So we have a lot of things to go and talk about for this and as well if you guys had a chance to go and see this. Maybe you guys will have a chance to see it earlier on today because it actually was actually live for at least for a little while. So... Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well. Keep on checking out those brand new Samsung links down below. We have the SSD and a $50 gift card too as well when it comes to getting new phones. Link down below. I highly recommend them myself. They're on sale. Amazon links as well for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit a bunch of $100 and you get a bunch of free stock, free money. And that Coinbase too as well. Let's go talk about this brand new news too on top of this. And as well, quick reminder, we need to go have a few confirmed drops going on from earlier on today. So make sure you guys go check those on out. We'll have maybe I think one more other video throughout tonight too as well maybe a nice little comfy video too as you guys can tell it's kind of cold here in chicago i got three layers on so let's go down this video itself so in case you guys missed it now, like I said, this is not the biggest and craziest thing when it comes to new updates, but it's always kind of nice quality of life updates too as well. So for this, we have an article over here from The Verge basically going and showing out that for a short while, Sony made it actually easier now to go get PS5 screenshots on your phone. Now, you guys might be thinking, okay, why is this cool? Why do we care? Et cetera, et cetera. Now, you may be like the small demographic that doesn't, but I kind of feel like this seems kind of cool. There's always a lot of folks out there who like to go and share their game progress, funny scenes, funny cutscenes, etc. And it actually is a very, very big viral marketing technique that we actually have over here in regards to the PS Share. So let's go talk about this in general. So for, for a short while earlier on today, Sony actually made it so it was easier to get your own PS5 screenshots up on your phone. So... I kind of already speculate a little bit on the fact that it might be able to go do it right before Horizon Forbidden West, which also would make sense. Sorry, a little cough right there. Because in regards to that, the game is a very, very beautiful game with a lot of cool epic scenery, a lot of epic environments. And what else makes people want to go play the game than seeing like an entire like moving ocean or a dramatic entire landscape or the Golden Gate Bridge just in the background of a game? So with this... Sony actually seems to be close to making it a lot easier to share the PS5 screenshots outside of your console, which is very nice to see just marketing-wise in general. No one wants to be that random grandma who's like taking a picture of their literal screen and they'll be like, hey, Jimmy, look at this. You, know, just, you, you want the good stuff. So the company has also appeared to be rolling out a way to then have screenshots and videos captured on your PS5 auto uploaded then to the PlayStation app, which is also actually really cool too as well. We'll talk about that in a second. And... Like I said, it kind of seems kind of really cool, more so maybe for streamers, maybe for people making YouTube videos, people making TikToks, want to go and share funny clips, or just want to show weird glitches or things that happen to themselves in the game. Which, in all honesty, this actually seems bigger than I maybe be making it seem out there, because there's just so many funny things that happen, there's so many goofy things. I don't know, it seems kind of cool. So, where this one, Sony began to actually test the feature up in Canada and Japan a few months ago in October, and it became available for me, apparently for the Arthur Redder, in the U.S. on Tuesday night, but for less than 24 hours later, they actually got rid of it. So when they first feature was available for them, they kind of went a little mini rile because a lot of people talk about it. To get to go to work, they had to go do a couple of different things. First, they had to open up the media gallery on the PS5, which you can find going to the game's menu. Scrolling all the way to the game library icon. And if you went and click that and navigate into the media gallery, if you basically just test the media gallery more recently, you might see it alongside your recently played games. And when they open up the app, a prompt appeared that gave me the option to enable auto upload, which they actually end up selecting on over here, which you guys can see for this. So, this is the cute little PS5 logo on your phone or tablets. And then it basically has the automatically upload your latest screenshots and video clips and view them on the PlayStation app. They'll be available on your PlayStation app for 14 days after you create them. So this is all a brand new feature that, as we mentioned, was tested, was actually up in public for quite a few folks for quite some time, and then was taken away earlier, like basically a little bit like not that long ago. But it's always kind of nice to see because if the app is literally like people are using it and utilizing it and taking screenshots of it, that basically means the app is pretty much about to go. And it's... Well, I think I said kind of cool. So also go note that your video clips are limited to three minutes or less. You can change the auto upload settings at any time by going to captures and broadcast on your PS5, which you guys have a chance to auto update that or not with the PS app. So 
A few kind of cool things to go talk about once we dive into this little second over here too as well. So basically the captures they took enabling the feature didn't immediately start appearing on the PlayStation mobile app on their iPhone though. They basically had to manually force quit the app first and then when they reopen a notice then popped up saying that the PS5 captures would begin to show up. So basically just had to do a nice little hard reset for it and then to see them in the app tap the game library icon and the navigation bar next to the magnifying glass and then tap captures too as well. So this isn't the craziest biggest update it's kind of cool. So as well before but like kind of like it's kind of a very nice quality of life update because previous captures on the ps5 are a very like arduous process which i would agree on too as well and their one workaround was basically using a messaging screenshot to your friend and basically like send like a funny picture to your friend and i believe you could also load it up on the app too as well to essentially get it on your phone or other types of drives too on top of that they also apparently have a way to capture it through the usb drive too but then you have to take it like off and on and move to your other media sites an imager or on youtube etc etc and for this it's just a massive quality of life update update where if you could just make everything all automated you can make it all more chill or use it on your phone everything seems chill so for them they say the clips are only available for 14 days after you create them on the ps5 and then for video clips up to three minutes in length with up to a 1920 by 1080p resolution as well on top of it so as of right now they did pull the feature but it was available for many different folks and it kind of seems like this was actually leaked in general so let's go talk about this because i actually want to show up this thing it was just that just kind of an intriguing thing in the background over here when it came to reddit that i saw for the mobile market you guys can maybe see like the overall numbers and how everything's kind of goes and change as i'm talking about mobile market stuff i'm just a little nice thing to put up in the background so one cool thing for this is we actually have been seeing a massive increase too as well when it comes to people utilizing their phones utilize the playstation app because you can even use that to like update your games and turn on your console if you're at work or on 5g and all that type of stuff which is just nice basically kind of just makes the whole simplistic plot process of owning a console better because you can basically go and like like i said update games and download games etc etc right afterwards but i think the one big thing for all this is i think it's just a it's kind of a niche thing but I do think marketing wise, it's very nice to see. So if you guys saw, I showed up the PS share option that was up on Twitter and every now and then just from random times and random moments, it'll actually end up trending. And what I mean by that is it's literally just free marketing. A lot of people like to share their funny glitches, funny moments, maybe even good gameplay moments, cool cutscenes, etc. And now it may not be everyone, I definitely know quite a few of my friends that every now and then will show me like their Final Fantasy 14 character, or World of Warcraft character, their Escape from Tarkov loot, all that stuff. And they're like, hey, look at what I did today. Or like, what look like a progress? Or does my character look cool? And that's just like, I'm sure you guys have done that. Even if you guys aren't the biggest folks of like sharing various aspects of that. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there who have done that throughout the years. I myself, even on Twitter, have done it. On my Twitch stream, I've done it. It's just one of those things that just goes and happens. So... It wouldn't make a lot of sense if they want to have the features all fully automated and done by the time Horizon comes out, because that is probably the first and like next major AAA game. It's going to be out for a while, but as well, there's going to be a lot of cool screenshots, a lot of cool bosses, a lot of cool mobs, all floating around the background, and people want to go and share it. So it'd be maybe nice, maybe even end up on Twitter with the brand new updates, end up trending, and then everyone, especially on the Xbox, or maybe just PC players, mobile players as well, might maybe go and see how cool it is to go and get to see like see the game looks and stuff like that. It's just free marketing. So I think it's actually kind of a cool little update, and I think it's a very nice quality of life update too as well. Now, the one big struggle is that Sony did end up getting rid of it as of today. But as I mentioned, when the assets are already there, we already have like the pictures, we have everything else tied on in. There is no reason to go and show that they're not just going to update it in the very near future. So I think it's kind of cool to go and see this in general. And I like just seeing these overall updates too, just in general. So you guys give me your thoughts and comments down below. Is this something that you guys would go and utilize and actually enjoy? Is this a cool feature? Is it not a cool feature? You guys go and tell me because I can actually probably see myself using this. Maybe even for even YouTube content if I have a funny moment and I want to maybe save it with you guys in the future or a funny glitch. Or just maybe I want to show some friends some cool sceneries. I had a chance to go and tweet out up on Twitter. So... Let me know if this is kind of cool, if it's lame or whatever, down below. And make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Check on the brand new Samsung links down below for the SSD and $50 gift card too for the pre-orders. Down below, if you guys want to, same with the Amazon for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. Sign up for Weeble, deposit one hours, get a bunch of free stock, free money, and that Coinbase too as well. And leave a like on why you have another video up later on throughout today, but this was actually kind of nifty news, and I love having a chance to go and get to see this. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you guys up later on tonight.